Hi everyone, uh, Lori Browse here. Um, I was showing pictures earlier of my version of a galaxy background and a couple people asked me to do a little video. Never done a video before, so be kind. This is the background I was going to show you how to do. This is actually very simple. What we're going to use is a watercolor cardstock and then th four distressed inks. Mustard seed, peacock feathers, seedless preserves, and dusty concord. Um, I always start light. I always start off light. So I'm going to start with my mustard seed. And one thing I've learned is that you, you dab off first to get a lot of excess off. And then you come in moving. You start moving this way. And you'll see there's not a lot of color there to start with. That's okay. That's okay. Someone uh, told me a long time ago, I read somewhere, I don't remember, that it's really easy to add color. It's a lot harder to take color away. Now, since this is all about the blend, when I get a lot of that color off, I'm still going to go slightly over to help blend, and so that color radiates that way. Um, so I think I'm going to do two light spots. Oh, let's do three light spots on this one. And in different places. Some people like galaxies with not the brighter areas on them. I don't know. I like a little sunshine in my life, so I'm going to throw a little yellow in there. Otherwise, it's too, too dark. So, let's do one more here. One more. Just a tiny one in the corner. There we go. Tiny one in the corner. And again, I start off, move, my hand is moving before I even hit the paper usually. And uh, that just makes sure you don't get like streaky kind of thing. It looks more blended. So let's flip onto my blue. Now, Peacock Feathers is a very vibrant color. So I really want to be sure that I've pounced off some of that color to start with. And I'm going to go in here. I like to have part of this blue touching the yellow. And as my kindergartner could explain, because yellow and blue make green. And that's just a really pretty blend between these two. So let's start darkening that up, darkening that up a little bit there. You can tell by the end there, I'm pushing pretty hard, but I've already blended off a fair amount of the ink, so the, it's really just about moving what's there slightly. Okay, blend it even over to there. All right, let's do one more blue spot right in here. Ooh, I don't like how it started. That's okay. It's all right, you just push down and blend it. Speaking of not liking, I should tell you, it took me ooh, four times before I got this right, four or five times. So it's it's just practice in your hands, really what it is. All right, I'm gonna go to the seedless preserves here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work this in. Remember, I'm still moving when I hit the paper. I'm gonna fill in the white spots at this point and kind of in between the colors. And this is how we're gonna start pulling it all together. So white spots and you're moving and you're blending and you're moving. I don't know if you can hear it, but in the other room close by, my little guy has Disney TV on. So talk along with Dora if you want to, because I can hear that's what's on back there. And if I do more videos, you never know. You'll probably hear him at one point going, Mom, Mom, Mom. If you're a parent, you'll know what I mean. All right, so I've kind of filled in my color there. Oh, we're long from done. We're going to go to the Dusty Concord. That's my darkest color. I'll blend that off. Now I'm going to really kind of say, all right, I want a dark shadow over here. So I'm going to start shadowing this stuff. There we go. Okay, in there. There we go. Some more dark, some more dark, some more dark. And this really just... Add some shadowy to it and some depth, I think. 
So I don't need to go a whole lot there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to seedless preserves now. This was the trick I learned. You kind of get your colors in and then you go over all of it with your seedless preserves one more time. So you'll see that I'm going to hit pretty much every color with another shot of seedless preserves. But since I've already layered in some darker color behind it, I'm going to keep that slightly mottled look, which is, I think, that galaxy sky look. But what do I know? I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> and I won't do, I'll get, I won't go heavy on some of the yellow because I want some of that yellow to pop through. We need a little light in this world, right? So we want to keep some of that light there. But we're going to keep spreading that out. And the more you do this, you'll see that it just starts kind of morphing. The colors start morphing and blending a little bit more. See, now I think I went a little too heavy there. But, you know, next time it won't be so heavy. And it's, as I said, it's all about practice. One thing I say in my craft room is that it's just paper. It's just paper. So don't be afraid to try something. Now I'm going to call this mostly done because the other thing I found out here is that this I don't think is very pretty. You need to do a couple more things first and that is with Delusions, the white linen. Give it a shake. This is really technical. Not really. And then you're going to give it a little bit of a flick. Let's get some stars in there, huh? Yeah. Some stars. All right, so we can flick it that way. All right, now the next part is this. This is Perfect Pearls Mist. And I like two shots of this. One, two. So we're gonna go one, two. Now, I curled the paper a little bit, but once it dries, it'll be fine. What I like about this is that, that the Perfect Pearls just kind of took those white spots and just went with them and just kind of spread them out and made it really milky in the sky. And it really pops the color out. I think that those are the finishing pieces that are needed to make this look decent. Now, the other thing you can do, which I did with this one, is that I let the, the white linen drops dry first. If you let them dry and then go over with your pearls mist, they'll maintain their shape. Um, it's a preference thing. After I did this, I did a couple this way. I liked it, but I personally went back to letting misting the perfect per perfect pearls misting over the white linen just so that would disseminate those white spots a little bit. I think it looks um, just a milkier background. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Be kind. I've not done this before. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers all.